Welcome back, Clubhack. Today we'll be doing a tutorial for Click Team Firefly. Um, we're going to be going through first-person movement. We'll just go ahead and open up a frame. The first thing you need to do is, if you don't already have it, you need to download Firefly, and it needs the standard or developer version of Click Team. Just resize this. And there's a Firefly tab that incorporates all of the Firefly elements that you'll need. We're going to go ahead and add a engine, since you always need an engine, and a camera. And just add a plane. Go to Firefly Nodes Primitive. I'm just going to add this up here. And we're going to change the properties from cube to plane. And just take a look at that real quick. Oops. So it's not much because we haven't added anything else. Um, we're not going to worry about the background just because this is a first person movement tutorial. Um, hopefully, I'll continue this and we'll be able to show you more about that. Um, we're going to need the Firefly movement. And go to all objects. We're also going to need a window control for the movement. And the easiest way I found to do first person movement is to change the variables of the camera. So we go to values. We're going to add six values, I believe. We're going to rename them movement. Strafe, rotation, or we're going to set rotation to 50. We're going to rename this one vertical. Old X and old Y. And I'll explain more. I'll explain those more later when we actually get into setting up the movement. Okay. So make a new group of events. We're just going to name it WASD because those are the keys we're going to use to actually move the camera for the first person movement. Now you want your first condition to be the keyboard repeat, or I'm sorry, repeat while key is pressed. And we're going to set that to W. We're just going to copy and paste this event, change it to S, and copy and paste it one more time, negate the S, and then we can copy and paste that command and change the first one to W. Just copy and paste all this. Click on new condition, escape, and we're going to change the W to A, the S to D, and then change these as well. And basically, this is just setting up the movement. Repeat, and I'll, ex I'll explain as a program because right now it, it's nothing I can't explain. It, would, it wouldn't make sense. So we're going to go to repeat while W is pressed, and we're going to change the, we're going to set the value of movement to five since w will be our forward movement now what that is telling the program is when w is pressed set the movement to five and the camera will move at a speed of five forward just going to drag and drop and edit change it to negative five for s and then we're going to change it to zero when no none of the keys are pressed and then same thing for the A and W, or sorry, for the A and D, but instead of movement, we're going to set strafe. I'll just resize this. So we'll set strafe to 5, negative 5, and 0.
and that's all we need for the movement. And insert a new group of events. Call it mouse movement. This is where we're actually going to get into setting up the first person movement. We'll need an always command. And we're going to set the old X and old Y first. So variables set old X. And this is where that window control element comes into play. So we'll take window control. And we're going to use application window, horizontal position of the window. Plus, and then you're going to put in parentheses. Go back to application window. Move this up some. application window and horizontal size of one window and divide that by two and basically that just sets the mouse location at the center in the x-axis of the screen we're going to select OK and then we're going to do the same for the Y so we're going to set the old Y application window vertical position of the window since it's the Y axis and plus in parentheses the vertical size of window divided by two and then we're going to set up the first person movement in the flyer five movement so right click first person camera settings and I don't use gravity um, you can use gravity if you want to jump but with the application I'm currently working on I don't need gravity I have the Y position locked and that's gonna bring up a dialog box Let's resize this right quick going to bring up this dialog box and it's going to ask a lot of questions. The first one is enter a Firefly camera node fixed value. Basically what camera are you using? So we'll right click on the only camera that we have. Let's see if I can get this in frame. And we're going to retrieve a fixed value. And that's basically going to tell the program that we are using the node camera. Click OK. And then it's going to ask what engine are we using? Same thing, retrieve the fixed value for the engine and press OK. It's going to ask for the old X mouse coordinate. And that's what we just finished setting up. So you'll right click on the camera. We will go to values, value A through M since it's our first value move this so you guys can see and we're going to retrieve old X and we'll press OK and same thing for the Y mouse values old Y and now it's going to ask for the new X and the new Y and we get those values from Firefly movement move this up a little bit so we'll click on the movement object, first person camera. Just move this so you guys can actually see. Hopefully. I'm sorry guys, I'm in window mode. There we go. So we'll go down the first person camera settings, get X max, sorry, mouse X position since we're looking for the new X mouse coordinate and press OK same thing with the Y mouse right click on the firefly movement FPS camera get mouse at Y position and press OK now the rotation speed is going to be back on the camera 
it's what we set up earlier. So go to values, A through M, and rotation. The movement is a value that we already set up. So values, A through M, movement. Strafing is the same. Values, A through M, strafe. And then vertical is same. It's going to be zero. But it's just a way to keep everything together. Rather than just typing all these values and then entering zero for the vertical movement. It might be extra work, but it keeps things kind of coherent. And that should be your movement. Oh, we forgot to set the X mouse and XY. So under fly fire movement, right click, camera, set mouse X, and it'll be the exact same as the old X and old Y. So window control, screen applications, horizontal, plus parentheses. the horizontal size of the window divided by two and then set the old or set the mouse y position to the vertical and then divide the size by two and then we're also going to add a, at the start of frame command, we're going to want to hide the mouse. So hide mouse. And now you can see we actually rotate, can move around. I'll just add a light so you can actually see the plane. So under the start of frame, we're going to go to the camera bind target and rotation on and then we're going to go back to the frame editor and add a light node so firefly node light I'm going to change the values a little bit change it to 50 I'm going to set all this to 0 and under start a frame, we're going to parent the um, camera node to the light node. So right click on the light, set node properties, set parent node. And we're going to get the fixed value for the camera. And that should work. You can see it follows. You can see movement works pretty well. Um, if you adjust the 5 value that we added earlier and the WASD, so if you adjust these, they will set your different movement speeds. So real quick, say we wanted to add a run feature. We'll repeat while a key is pressed. And let's use space. And we'll add, repeat while space is pressed, and while W is pressed, whoops, Just replace that, repeat while W is pressed, and we'll set it to 10 instead. So we'll go to values, set movement to 10. And then if we were to go over here and start running towards this way, it 
doesn't seem like it's working. It's kind of hard to tell with such a small plane, but you guys can work with it. Oh. Let's put this up here. Let's delete this and replace this with Oops. Okay. Copy this. And then negate. Negate these two commands. And we'll set it to zero. And then that should work. Oh, well you guys can play with it. Um. Do whatever is comfortable with you. If you want to change these to the arrow keys, you'll just replace the values. So you'll replace W with forward. Or the up arrow key. Replace S with the down arrow key. And then A with the left and D with the right. Just get these two commands out of here. And you'll use the arrow keys instead. Um, I will hopefully continue making Firefly tutorials on top of the Click Team Free Edition tutorials, but remember that you will need the standard or developer edition of Click Team in order to actually use Firefly. Um, that should be it. I do. I just posted a video of my game that I'm working on. If you want to go check that out, um, it's called like Update One or something. Video Update One. It's using Firefly. If you want to see kind of more of what Firefly can do, you can also check out Click Team. They have a few free games. I know Choco Break is on there. Um, they just made Disaster at Firefly Station. That's a pretty cool game. There's a Pac-Man sort of game. There's Neo Run. It's a lot of cool stuff. And I will try to put a link in the description for all those. I will have a link in the description for both the Steam and the Click Team version of Firefly and the standard and developer version of Click Team. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.